Started already. Good morning, guys. So, got the Sylvia back outside. Um, today we're gonna work on the uh, S14 and get the SR20 DE in there. Maybe we'll get to work on the race car a little bit today. Um, Cause the uh, track days are coming up and I want to race this this season get some more track time so anyways let's go get started on this S14 let me a homeboy over here gonna take that SR20 right there drop it in this S14 uh, that's our project for today so what's up Jordan what's up all right first off we gotta get this inner cooler off this because the SR20 DE is not turboed and that's gonna stay with the RB25 so Got the inner cooler off. We're gonna just let that exhaust hang down. So if you want to undo the strap over there, Jordan. Um, I left the motor hanging last night on the hoist, so that shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem. Engine mounts are still on there. You know, tranny mounts isn't on there, but this should be cut and dry, really easy drop in and. Uh, Cut and dry swap, so we're gonna get started getting this motor in right now. Now we got the motor set into place. Nothing's bolted in. We got a tranny jack holding up the tranny right now. But motor mounts are in place. So we're gonna unhook the hoist, get some bolts in there, get the cross member up, get this thing bolted down. All right, so we already got, I mean, Jordan got the motor dropped in and kind of just settled into place. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the motor mounts, get our bolts put into the cross member of the tranny, and just work our way back. So our motor mounts are in and tight. Power and order back to our transmission cross member. Another 17s. Back throw the drive line in. I think I left with this smoke on right here. Drive shaft bolt nuts all in there hand tight before we tighten with the carrier bearing. All those in hand tight. Drive line spins nice so we can tighten up. Okay, your man. Yeah. 
Alright, just gonna finish up the bottom of this. We'll do the exhaust later, but tighten up the diff. Drive line bolt. Alright, we're all done with stuff underneath, so we're gonna shove this harness through the firewall and get started on our stuff on top. So we're just gonna do that real quick, and then we're gonna set back up on the tripod so you guys can watch us do the rest. Look at that ABS sensor. Oh, it plugs right in. What we need is the math. That's all. That's it, so now we can plug in the stuff inside there. And at the fuse box, because we're gonna try to get this thing started up before we button everything up, just to make sure all our wiring's good, so. Help me out with that, Jordan. Alright, so we just have a few connections in here since this car has already been right hand drive converted. Um, the harness is all right hand drive, so everything should be plug and play. Um, so here's our ECU plug. Here's the plug that goes to our dash harness. And that should just be. Plug it in. Lock it down. We have a ground we need to attach. Attach this guy to the wall in here. Clean this thing up. Like that. EC we need to grab out of the Sylvia. And we need to grab the relay. It plugs into this guy. Um, and there's another box in there we need to grab for these. And then hook up the fuel lines. See if we can get this thing to start. Alright, so we're back with the ECU and our relay. Relay. Tuck all that stuff away later after we get this thing running. ECU is easy, obviously. Plug it in. Where's my driver? Tighten that. Plug in our couple connections right here. Boom. Now we just have to hook up our fuel. Get a battery in this guy. There's our key. Let's see if we can get this to run. Alright, so now that our ECU wiring. Let me make that cloth over there. Alright, so we're gonna hook up our fuel lines. Our return is this lower one. We'll cut these to length later, but we just want to get this thing fired up. Our incoming the top one. Alright, so now that those are done, I'm not going to worry about the bottom cable right now. Power to the lower harness. Here's the lower harness that's off the SR. And since this car's already been right hand drive converted, literally everything is plug and play. And it might be the same with the USPM, but most likely it's already converted. Got a ground here that needs to be hooked up. We're gonna just go to this 10 right here. Yep. Tool assistant. Ten. <laughs> There's a good solid ground for now. That's ground for the battery. Day two. All right, guys. Me and Jordan got the SR20 into the S14 yesterday. I stayed pretty late and messed with the wiring. Uh, and since it's a track car, it's. You know, pretty much gonna be a flip switch, push button car. But I got it working off the key as of right now, and a 12 volt constant to a, 12, a relay for the fuel pump. Um, the dash interface system on this didn't work because the motor that we pulled out of the S15 was an ABS and all that, and the chassis harness that is in this right hand drive conversion chassis that we got um, had already been converted and isn't an ABS. So we weren't able to just plug and play it um, and 
at this point, just being a budget track car, there's no point in spending $600, $700 on a wiring specialties harness. So pretty much I went through the wiring and I had a hard time finding a pinout for this exact ECU. So I went off and did the SR20 DET ECU. So the wire colors were different, but essentially they're all in the same position. Um, and we got it fired up last night. So I got to clean up all the wiring. Jordan's got to install the radiator and some belts in the fan. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that process. Um, so just watch us do that. The harness cleaned up on the engine bay side. Here's the math. Let's do there. Jordan doesn't know his own strength and decided he's going to break one of the studs, so he's got to fix that. Breaking. All right, Jordan's finishing up putting the belts on and the fan that he broke that stud on. So you repaired that, belts are on. We're just gonna keep getting this engine base squared away so then we can move to the interior and finish all that up. All right, we got the S14 out from the parking spot over there. Get it easier to work on. Jordan's uh, assembling the exhaust out of the S15 and bolting it up to these sweet blast pipes. Uh, we're gonna get finish this up and get this thing fired up. He's talking shit over there. Oh yeah. Typical. Shit talkers. I don't know. I like to talk shit too. It's probably one of the best things of a shop. Talking. Dude. Started already. You could start it right now if you want. Dude, no, I can't finish the exhaust, homie. It's only three bullets, it doesn't take five hours. I know. Told you to get a longer extension. Mm. This guy. Start it already! Two thousand years later. Let's do it. Ten hours later. He's done. Hey, you gotta tighten those ones, dude. Okay, I was gonna hold the blast pipe straight so they're like straight. Oh man, these eBay blast pipes are pretty dope. Oh, there's not even a hanger holding it up on the back. That's gangster. Hold on. Tighten that shit, son. My hand's getting tired. Look at this. I think it's fit like shit. To do something about that. I fuck it. Track car just melt the bumper off. Catch it on fire. People like that shit. We can start this thing, huh? Now they're all watching. <laughs> 